Hey, this is an interesting video I've been meaning to do for a while, Mega Menus Inside Bricks Builder. And I'm going to let you know now that I'm going to use a technique that I've used previously on Elemental videos. Hey, steady down if you're a Bricks user, okay? Using a bit of code created by Maxime from Element.how. And the code works absolutely fine here as well. There's a link down below. Go over, go get the code, and you don't really need to tweak it. You can use it as it is, but I want to show you how it works. Over here, we're going to just create a section, okay? Well, section container. And into this section, I'm not going to add anything. You can do what you want with the section in terms of your layout and all of that, but you don't really need to do much unless you're going to add a background image or a background color. Into the container, the parent container that we have over here, I'm gonna start dropping in some buttons. So we're just gonna go with button, 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 like that, okay? They've all gone into the primary container. On the primary container, I'm gonna to go to content and I'm gonna ensure that this is now a row. And I'm gonna put it onto the, no, not that one, sorry, do you know, I always do this. There we go, put it onto the end. And I'm just gonna give this a bit of gap of about 15 like that. I'm also gonna go over to my container layout and I'm gonna give this some padding of about five like that. You can go a little bit more, 10 up, 10 below, whatever. By the way, I'm not here to stylize this, I'm just showing you how it works. Yeah, and as soon as I said that, I've just gone and changed the font color to be white so it's easy to understand. So the idea behind this is that when you hover over a button, another mega menu or a bigger menu area appears below. Now this is not what I would say something you really want to be doing on every website. In fact, over the many we've built, we've only used it twice. It's only when you've got loads and loads of content where a pop-up off canvas menu or any other system just does not work for you. Also on the mobile, you'll probably go back to using a standard toggle menu anyway or an off canvas pop-up because what you do here is not going to look good on a small screen mobile estate. Okay, the other thing to mention is that these buttons have a colored background. You don't have to have a colored background. You could have a completely transparent background and you just have the wording underlined however you want to do it. I'm just showing you the buttons with a colored background so you can clearly see what I'm doing. I've got rid of the other two buttons because we're going to duplicate them, but I wanted to show you how it looks with the layout and the container. Into this button, it's very important that you go down to where you have CSS and if you go down to where you have CSS classes you need to call this nav item don't do that the rest of the code that we're going to add in later just won't work okay right let's just click the elements bits the screen zooms back out you will notice the button is quite expanded again I'm not here to do styling but if it really bothers you just go in and adjust it okay you know your button you go in, you know, set the wording and all of that, go to your style. It's gonna make it have a height of 40 for now. Okay, now I'm just gonna duplicate this button over and over again. So we have our three buttons and all of them have got the nav item. It's the same CSS class name for all the buttons. Now, after button one, we're gonna add in another container. This child container will be what contains the mega menu. So I'm just gonna go and click container and I'm going to ensure it is after the button. The process is really simple. Button, container, button, container, button, container. And you can have as many buttons as you want. Into this container, you must do a few things. Number one, ensure that, well, you can decide if it's going to be row or column or anything like that, which we'll decide later on. But the key bit is in the style, please ensure that it is 100% width. It should already be 100% width. And also in your content, please ensure that it is stretched. Okay, now this at the minute is the columnar approach. We are gonna switch it to be a row, but ensure it is doing the full stretch. It must stretch all the way across. In fact, I should also mention for your parent container, make sure you've got the stretch as well. If you don't want to have the stretch effect and you're going to have a boxed width approach, then you can go with the boxed width approach, okay? You go and put in your width. My mega menu is not going to be more than 800 pixels or 80% or however you do the width. But I quite think the full stretch effect looks a little bit better. Into the child container for button one, this is where we start adding in our items. Now again, I'm not here to stylize what we're doing, so I'm just gonna drop in text, text, and you know what, let's just go for an image as well. Now don't worry about how it's looking, because it's kind of only sat in a little bit of the screen, and you might be going, well, I want it to be the full width. That looks totally awful. Seriously, don't worry. We are gonna come back onto that. 
But the idea is, is that you could start to add into here anything you want. Look, I've just gone and dropped in a block into that child container and I've put the rich text and the icon list into the block and everything else just sits outside. You can design this as willingly and as explosively as you want, as you would do with any bricks container. Now into this container, and again, this is pretty important, okay? Go over to the style, go down to where you have the CSS class, sys, there we go, and you're now gonna call this one menu underscore content. Now what we're gonna do is add in another bit of CSS that is now gonna sit in the parent container. Okay, so the parent container, we are going to get this code from the element.how Maxime's website. If you scroll down all the way to over here, you will now have the code. Now, some people have said, well, when I go here, I've got to pay for it. You don't have to pay for anything. All it asks you to do is log in with your Google or your Facebook, because obviously you get subscribed to a newsletter that you can jump in and out of. But all you're going to do is copy that code. It is free, okay? You go then over to your parent container. Scroll down to where you have the custom CSS and you drop the code in like that. As soon as I do that, can you see the child container has disappeared? Now let's view this on the full page. On the child container, I have given it a white background and I've also added in another button as well. When we go to buttons two and three, look, I'm hovering over them, nothing happens. No mega menus appearing because we haven't added the child container. But when you go to button one, Look what's appearing. We got our items. Now, if I move my mouse off the button, it disappears. If I move my mouse onto it, I can interact. If I move my mouse past it, it disappears. That's how it works. And look, if I've moved my mouse over here with Twitter, there's no URLs here. That's why you're not getting it. But look, can you see the finger pointing? And you can see in the bottom left down there, you can see the URL for Twitter. And over here, look, there's another URL there for the button. So this is all completely interactive. It's a mega menu. And can you see how it works pretty nicely when you go for the full width approach? This is working pretty, pretty well, I think. And I think it's a great way to add a mega menu with a tiny bit of code. And this code, I do want to stress out, it's not massive. It's not a massive amount of code at all. And it works in Elementor and it works with Bricks Builder as well. And if you do want to have it on a mobile, you can do. The code still works, but you're going to have to jig a lot around. And it it, it can work for you, but I have seen some mega menus where they got so many items in there. The minute you try and cram it all into that, it looks awful. This is where I would add in like an at media, maybe, so that this code only activates when the media width is, say, greater than, I don't know, 780 pixels. And on the mobile, I would just have a normal toggle menu, but I'll let you work out what works for you the best. But I think this is a pretty cool way of having a mega menu. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way to win it life. I never miss that fact, taking big swings, dish, hand me the bat, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag.